What's up, MSFers? Before we get started on today's recap, be sure to save your gold, campaign energy, and cores for this afternoon's events. Bit of a mixed review over the Commander's Cash and Strike Salute events in Friday's blog post, even with community manager Archangel going around reassuring the content creators that there was some missing stuff from that blog post and that most moderately engaged players shouldn't have any trouble completing these milestones. McMull still thinks it's a joke even with that new information. Boylan sounded a bit indifferent to this event, saying it's neither good nor bad, and Hartgrave thinks that it's a good event executed poorly. If they wanted to reward players for a bumpy year, which is a drastic understatement over their performance, they should have just put these rewards into a calendar. Which Scourge team is going to be the best investment of your resources? It's a hotly argued debate that broke out over the weekend with many content creators agreeing that the War Dogs are the superior team. However, is the strategy of skipping them and just sticking to your investment of the Bionic Avengers going to be better for some or most players? Frosty Osti says, that Scopely got the Black Panther history wrong. If you want the truth about BC Panther, check out this Frosty Features video. The Tangled Undying team blew up in popularity this weekend. Dogbert runs them through their courses, showing which teams they can beat, which is just about all of them. And if you want to beat more teams, be sure to like and subscribe for daily content. I'm Run7, bringing you yesterday's news today. Reassuring us that moderately engaged, why can't I get to that word? But there was some missing information from the blog post that'll allow us to understand, that'll allow us to understand a war offense team that can seemingly, seem, seemingly, seemingly, if you want to get the correct truth about where BPBC comes from, BPBC, that sounds so stupid.